Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney movie moments that would make great rides. Abu! Uh, Abu, this is no time to panic! Start panicking! Whoa. this list, we'll be looking at scenes from Disney and Pixar films that would translate well into theme park rides and attractions. Which Disney movie scene do you want to see brought to life? Let us know in the comments! Number 10. Supernova – Treasure Planet What the devil? Good heavens, the star pollution! It's gone! Supernova! Had this sci-fi adventure been the hit that Disney was hoping for, we'd probably already have a ride in Tomorrowland. Being deemed a box office bomb, though, we're not expecting a Treasure Planet ride anytime soon. That doesn't mean we can't imagine near one ourselves, though. As much as we'd love to go sky surfing with Jim Hawkins, the Supernova set piece offers the most possibilities for a thrill ride. We could see this intense sequence working as an indoor roller coaster like Space Mountain as we dodge hellish explosions and a black hole, building to a climactic shockwave. Hold on to your lifelines! Jen said's gonna be a bumpy ride! The premise would also be well suited for a motion simulator ride with interactive elements. Think Smuggler's Run, but with the RLS Legacy instead of the Millennium Falcon. Number 9. Boats and Lanterns – Tangled Where are we going? Well, best day of your life. I figured you should have a decent seat. With the introduction of Fantasy Springs, Tokyo Disney Sea is getting a tangled boat ride that recreates the film's romantic lantern scene. The Corona-themed rest station in the Magic Kingdom could use a similar update, as it's currently a glorified bathroom area. Fantasyland needs a dark ride depicting Rapunzel and Flynn Rider's best day ever at the festival. And at last I see the light, and it's like the fog has lifted. For an even more immersive experience, it's worth noting that Rapunzel's tower isn't too far away from the Liberty Square riverboat. On certain nights, Disney could rent out gondolas and fill the sky with Suncrest lanterns. While guests could still spectate on land, watching the lanterns float by on the water would allow people to see the light like never before. Now that I see Number 8. The World Famous Shrimporium – Raya and the Last Dragon We got shrimp, we got kanji, we got a shrimp kanji that won't quit. On their journey, Raya and Sisu hitch a ride with Boone, the proprietor of a boat restaurant called the Shrimporium. While the film offers plenty of potential for a water ride, the Shrimporium could also function as an innovative dining experience. Class bond to your kanji, today's special is… to go. Patrons board the ship where they order cuisine from the film, like Boone's Shrimp Kanji. For an attraction that's equal parts ride and a restaurant, though, the Shrimporium could sail around an area inspired by Kumandra. If you see any hungry faces, send them my way. You got it, Captain. As people enjoy their meal on the boat, they travel from fang to heart to spine to talon to tail. Along the way, Sisu could be spotted running on raindrops. Number 7. Titans and Hydra – Hercules Phil, what do you call that thing? Two words! Amscry! 
With its numerous serpentine necks, the Hydra almost looks like a living roller coaster. Imagine boarding a cart resembling Pegasus that takes you soaring through the sky. Around every twist and turn, there's another Hydra head snapping at you. Why stop at just the Hydra? Hercules has a wide variety of creative monsters, most notably the Titans. Good answer. Instead of a coaster, Disney could produce an enhanced motion vehicle dark ride like Indiana Jones Adventure. The transport takes guests through a series of elemental rooms, each dedicated to one of the main Titans. The Rock Titan hurls boulders, the Lava Titan unleashes hell, the Ice Titan freezes over hell, and the Tornado Titan sends the ride spiraling out of control in a battle for Olympus. Uh, guys? Olympus would be that way. Number 6. Imagination Land – Inside Out Riley's islands of personality all have theme park potential, especially Goofball Island. If the Imagineers want to let their creativity run wild, though, a ride dedicated to Imagination Land is the way to go. Oh, I love Imagination Land! Isn't it great? We mean it's literally a theme park inside of Riley's mind. While Disney could dedicate an entire section of a park to Imagination Land, it can also be condensed into a dark ride like Monsters, Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. The vehicle can either be modeled after a cloud or Bing Bong's rocket wagon. Oh, and remember your rockets! Of course! It runs on song power! That's right! Your theme song! Who's your friend who likes to play? Bing Bong! Bing Bong! His rocket makes you yell hooray! Bing, Bing Bong! Bing, Bing Bong! Either way, Guests drive through locations like French Fry Forest, the House of Cards, and a floor of hot lava. Lava! Woo! Oh! Imagination <laughs> land is the best! Ooh. Oh, is it all gonna be so interactive? Hey, look! The House of Cards! With Bing Bong coming along for the ride, this attraction would get all the trophies. Number 5. Be Our Guest – Beauty and the Beast But what is dinner? Without a little music? Music? Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. The Beast Castle has naturally inspired a restaurant at the Magic Kingdom where you can try the gray stuff. However, the BR guest number would also be well suited for a dark ride that takes us on a tour of the Beast's dining room and kitchen. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious! Don't believe me? Ask the dishes! They can sing, they can dance! After all, miss, this is France! As the iconic song plays in the background, silverware forms the Eiffel Tower, dishes dance across the table, and an array of food passes by. It's an experience that puts us in Belle's shoes, filling every guest with a hospitable sentiment. Come on and lift your glass, you've won your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Uh, the ride culminates with a grand finale featuring a chandelier, bottles popping, and Lumiere leading an ensemble of fellow candlesticks. If Disneyland ever expands upon Fantasyland, this would be a more than welcome addition. Wonderful. Number 4. Elephant Graveyard – The Lion King An elephant graveyard is no place for a young prince. Oops. An elephant what? Whoa. Oh dear, I've said too much. While there is an elephant graveyard play area at Disney's Art of Animation Resort, the parks have yet to take full advantage of this idea. The elephant graveyard is one of the creepiest locales in The Lion King, leading to a heart-racing chase. Whoa! It's really creepy, yeah. Isn't it great? As Simba and Nala slide down a hill of bones, it's hard not to think about a roller coaster. We can totally picture the sequence as a thrill ride with a skeletal exterior. To add an extra level of terror, the ride could incorporate birdie boilers with the hyenas popping out of the smoke. 
The coaster would be especially thrilling to ride at night, bringing out its shadowy nature. Oh, look at the sun. It's time to go. What's the hurry? We'd love you to stick around for dinner. Yeah, we could have whatever's lying around. <laughs> It'd give Expedition Everest a run for its money at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Number 3. Returning the Heart of Tefiti, Moana. Did not see that coming. From Splash Mountain to Grizzly River Run, Disney has no shortage of iconic water rides. That doesn't mean they can't pull off something unique with a ride inspired by Moana. Put this back? Save the world? You'd be everyone's hero. Setting sail on the ocean, we join Moana and Maui on an adventure to return the heart of Tefiti. The ride could start off calmly on Motunui before kicking up the action with the Kakamora and Tamatoa. You keep surprising me. During the heated climax, we face off against Teka as the ocean parts. Like the film, however, there is a happy ending as the fiery Teka melts away to reveal Tefiti. Such a ride would fit in well at Tokyo Disney Sea or within proximity of Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Number 2. Sugar Rush – Wreck-It Ralph Sugar Rush? No. A Sugar Rush ride can take several different directions. If Disney wants an attraction for all ages, something along the lines of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride seems appropriate. For something more exhilarating, Sugar Rush could be a roller coaster that darts through Candy Cane Forest and up Diet Cola Mountain. Given Sugar Rush's video game roots, it'd make sense to incorporate interactive elements like Toy Story Mania. Seeing how Sugar Rush was heavily influenced by Mario Kart, Disney may want to take a few notes from Koopa's challenge at Super Nintendo World. Employing augmented reality, guests could fire ice cream cones at their fellow racers and turn up the heat driving around a cake. At the very least, give us a slaughter race ride, Disney! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Otto Holland, Frozen 2. Who doesn't want to ride the Nuck to a glacier? I'm arriving, and it feels like I am home. I have always been a fortress, cold secrets deep inside. Yzma's Secret Lab, The Emperor's New Groove. Just don't pull the wrong lever. Please remain seated and keep your arms and legs in at all times. Faster, faster! Yzma, put your hands in the air! Carl's Flying House, up. After all, Disney has more than enough balloons. So long, boys! I'll send you a postcard from Paradise Four. The Hall of Everything, Soul, a ride loaded with Pixar Easter eggs. Okay, here we are. This is the Hall of Everything. Whoa! Arriving in Zootopia, Zootopia. The monorail could use a few updates. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Escaping the Cave of Wonders, Aladdin At last, after all my years of searching, the Cave of Wonders. Huh? Cave of Wonders? The Cave of Wonders has popped up in a few Disney attractions, most notably at Disneyland Paris on the storybook Land Canal boats. 
However, that doesn't even scratch the surface of what a Cave of Wonders ride can be. The queue alone could provide an atmospheric journey through the tiger's mouth, down a flight of stairs, and across a treasure room. Upon arriving at the ride itself, we have two possibilities in mind. The ride could be an indoor roller coaster that makes guests feel as if they're riding a magic carpet. Whoa, carpet, let's move! We'd also love to see a motion simulator like Star Tours that takes us on a rocky ride as the cavern fills with lava. Then as we exit, the genie conjures a gift shop. Thank you for choosing Magic Carpet for all your travel needs. Don't stand until the rug has come to a complete stop. Thank you. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.